Hey guys, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Before we head to the Temple of Fiends, I'd like to go over my setup. I went and leveled up to level 2, bought some heal potions, I finally got fire for my red mage, and I don't think I bought anything else. No, I didn't. My weapon and armor setup is unchanged, because I didn't grind to level 3. You don't need to yet. Um, you'll need to when you actually fight Garland at the Temple of Fiends, but you can get to the Temple of Fiends at level 2, and I would actually recommend doing that, because the experience in gold there is greater. Right now, I'd actually like to go over what the various stats do. You have uh, five base stats, and everything else is derived from that. The base stats are Strength, Agility, Intelligence, Vitality, and Luck. Every two points of strength that you get, uh, raise your damage stat by one. Your agility is directly added to your evasion percent. Intelligence is supposed to increase magic damage, but due to a bug, the intelligence stat does nothing. Vitality affects how much your max HP goes up at every level. Your base HP gain per level is your vitality stat divided by 4. Now some levels, like level 2, will have characters with strong HP gains, which add an extra 20%. Luck, I believe the only thing luck affects is your chance to run from battle. Alright, here's a new enemy, the wolf. These guys are a little bit dangerous for a level 1 party, which is why I would recommend uh, staying south of town until you get to level 2. But for a level 2 party, those guys are cake. They usually show up in larger groups. Alright, we're at the Temple of Fiends. Garland is straight through that door, but one, we're not ready for him, and two, there's some treasure here. There are two treasure rooms. Not a whole lot here. Well, there's... There's two treasure rooms here that we can get to. There's two more that we need the key for. Uh, spiders are pretty inconsequential. I don't even think they can poison you. I believe you can run into up to three of them here. Then here we get the cap, which I'm going to give to one of my mages, because they need the absorb. Yeah, let's give to the black mage. Don't want her dying. The four treasure rooms are in the corners of the temple. But the two on the east side we can't access until we have the mystic key. We get a heal potion and a cabin. Okay, these guys are pretty dangerous. They have a lot of attack power and a little bit more HP. If you run into one of these, I would suggest using fire because they're weak to fire. They have 56 HP, a damage stat of 17, and I think they can even hit twice per round. You can run into multiples of those, and that's a really dangerous encounter that can sap your spell charges. That should be all the treasure we can get here. Oh, we got another new enemy. Bone. These guys can hit a little bit hard, but they don't have very much HP, and their experience isn't even really worth it. Don't get used to enemies dropping this quickly. They will get tougher, especially in the next chapter. Well, what I'm going to do here is, since I still need to get to level 3, I'm going to go back to town, rest up at the inn, and buy some stuff for the upcoming battle. So I'm going to take care of that and be right back. On the way back to town, I ran into a couple new enemies. The first of these enemies is the Grey Imp. They're exactly twice as tough as regular imps, with 16 HP, 8 damage, 
but they do give out triple the experience. So if you're a little daring, you can actually go north of town, but it's easy to die to some of the tougher enemies. Okay, these are the guys that you want to avoid while you're uh, while you're on the uh, world map. And this is the reason why I don't like going north. Uh, Mad Ponies are some of the toughest enemies that you can run into in the Temple of Fiends area. If you run into them, you'll want to have as many people casting fire as possible. They, they have 10 uh, attack and can hit twice per round. Alright, we're back. I finished the level grinding I needed to. It doesn't take very long at this stage in the game. I went ahead and bought a couple more things in town, but you don't want to go too hog wild with your gold yet, because in Chapter 2 you're going to be needing a lot of gold, believe me. So I think we're finally ready to go into the Temple of Fiends, so let's go! Wow, one step in and I get into a battle. Oh, there you are, Garland. You're going to knock us all down. Okay. And here's the first boss of the game, Garland. He has 106 HP, and he has an attack rating of 15. Thankfully, he can only hit us once per round. You'll want to have as many people casting fire as you can. If you have a red mage and a black mage, you can easily do this battle at level 2. But, just for a little bit of insurance, you'll want to be at level 3. It also helps for the next part of the game. You should be able to drop him in two rounds if you have two mages, otherwise it might take three. If anybody's HP drops below 30, you'll want to use a heal potion or a cure spell. Don't worry, the bosses will get much harder later. That's a lot of gold. Yay! We rescued the princess, and she teleports us back to the castle. And the king has given us a new quest and constructed a bridge to the main continent. And the princess gives us the loot. It might just come in handy someday. Well, let's check this bridge out. Oh, the first thing I want to do before I go out and adventure is rest up at the inn, because we need all the HP we can get. Because once you cross that bridge, you're going to go into a new enemy domain where the enemies are, believe me, a lot tougher. And so the four light warriors begin their true journey. The journey to make the four orbs shine once more. I believe this is actually the only time in the game that the main Final Fantasy theme is played, which is really weird. Because this is the iconic song of the series. I actually think it's more iconic than the Victory Fanfare, which I have no clue why they decided to take that out of Final Fantasy XIII. That is a staple. Now, there's a cave to the north of... Uh, that I would like to talk about if I would stop getting interrupted by random battles. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. This is Matoya's Cave. You'll need to remember this place for later. Gee, I wonder what that could mean. If you uh, press the B, if you hold the B button on the world map and then press the select button, you'll be able to bring up a map of the entire world. There's a pure potion, a heal potion, and another heal potion in here. 
very valuable at this point in the game. So, Matoya's missing her crystal. In later versions, that's translated crystal eye, which basically means her eyeglasses. You'll need to remember this place for later, as it's very important for progressing the plot next chapter. And here's another new enemy, the Grey Wolf. These guys are a lot tougher than their normal cousins. They have, I believe, 72 HP. They do give a lot of experience, though, so it's worth taking them out. If you run into groups of smaller enemies, or, or, uh, or groups of enemies where you have tough enemies and uh, lesser enemies, you'll want to take out the less threatening enemies first so that you can minimize the amount of damage that they deal. In later Final Fantasy games, you'll want to you'll often want to take out the tougher enemies first, but there's so many monsters and encounters in this game that that it's better off just taking out the uh, the lesser enemies first. You'd be surprised how much that damage can add up. Yay, we got him. Told you those guys give a lot of experience. Yeah, I figured we'd need a little bit of healing before moving on. Our destination is far to the east of here. Oh, crap. These are the guys that I was really afraid of. You really shouldn't even be fighting these guys until Chapter 2. These are ogres. They have high physical defense, they have 100 HP, and they have 18 damage, or 18 damage stats, so they can deal over 30 damage to a party member with a single attack. This is why you want to have your fighter at the top of the uh, attack, at the top of your formation, so that he can take the most hits. Keep your HP high for this battle, and try to take out one of them as fast as possible. Do not be afraid to use your spell charges here. This is called Square Enix Hates You, also known as Nintendo Hard. And this is the reason why I don't like using heal potions in battle, is because outside of battle they're a lot more efficient for what they do. Whew, got rid of one of them. Now, I'm still not out of the woods yet, but the rest of this battle should be relatively easy. It'll just take a while. Ow! Oh, I'm glad I did that. Ooh, almost max off that, too. Awesome. The experience and gold these guys give is awesome, but at, at your low level, it just isn't worth it. You sh really shouldn't be fighting these guys until at least level 5 or 6. And this, the, the ogre encounter is actually really rare for this enemy domain, so I just got extremely unlucky running into these guys. <sighs> Man! Look at that gold, though. That's Awesome, that's going to be a huge boost when we get to the next town. Man, the game just scared me there. And here's another new enemy, Iguana. They are not quite as dangerous as Ogres because they have less physical defense and a little bit less HP, but they hit just as hard. Iguanas are dragon-type enemies. I, uh, weirdly enough. They don't have any weaknesses, so just smash their faces in with your physical attacks. These guys are not worth using spell charges on. 
come on, he really needs to die, like, now. Before Edgar dies. Ow! Die faster! Thank you! Wow! I guess Black Mage really does want to destroy the world. He's getting... Uh, she's getting... Uh, right, right. Black Mage is uh, female in my game. She's getting a lot of kills with her physical attack. This is unusual. Whew. Town. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Thank you. Whew. Where is everybody, though? Well, the first thing I want to do before doing anything in town is stay at the inn, because I really need to get my spell charges back. Well, the first thing I want to do here is check out the weapon shop. The weapon shop is actually really good here, and if you have money, you should buy uh, uh, better weapons here. The short sword is easily your best buy. It has uh, a damage rating of 15, but if you're short on cash, the scimitar is a good alternative. It has the same hit percentage as the short sword, but... Um, it has a little bit less damage, but it's less than half the price. The Hand Axe is not really worth it. Gives you only 5 hit percentage for an increase in damage of 1 over the Short Sword. I do not like any of the level 2 uh, white or black spells here, ex with, except 1. The reason why I don't like buying Ice here is because you're better off buying level 3 magic in the next town. Ice is t uh, 20 to 80 damage to one enemy. Dark blinds enemies. Slow reduces enemies' chances to hit, and Temper is bugged. Temper is supposed to raise uh, the target's damage, and it's really broken in future versions, but in this one it does nothing. Lamp cures darkness, uh, mute silences enemies, which can be useful if a lot of enemies that you wanted to silence weren't immune to it. Uh, Alit reduces damage by lightning significantly. That's the only spell I like. Invis is okay. It raises the target's evasion. And if you need something to do with your level 2 spell slots, that's one of the better spells you can get. Alright, now that we've explored town a bit, let's see what the... Where is everybody in town anyway? Oh. Oh, that's why. Everybody's boarded up in their homes because the town has been invaded by pirates. Before we go deal with the pirate problem, though, let's see what the item shop has. This item shop lets you buy cabins. They're just like tents, except they restore 60 HP to uh, your entire party and let you save. At the armor shop, you can get iron armor, but I don't think it's worth getting until after you uh, have more gold and you're ready to move on to the next town. It has a lot more absorb than uh, the chain armor, but it's so heavy, and it can only be equipped by the fighter at this point. So if you have a fighter, it's good to get. You can get gloves here as well, which are... Well, they can be equipped by anybody, and you're not using that equip that equipment slot for anything, so you might as well buy them for everybody who's not your fighter. Uh, the wooden shield is great to get for your fighter, because it gives him two extra points of absorb at no evasion penalty. Well, now that we've explored town, let's go... Oh. Let's go fight the... Wow, nine of them. But these guys are the weakest enemies in the game. They have only six HP. These guys these guys are softer than imps. They have a damage rating of eight. So the only reason why this fight is even 
remotely challenging to lower level parties is because of how many of them there are. Even Terra can defeat them in one hit with her physical attacks. So you'll want to have each individual party member target one of them, and you should be able to defeat them in three rounds. The danger of this fight is because there are so many of them, if all of the uh, pirates decide to gang up on one party member, he could lose HP quickly. So you'll... In, especially in the early parts of the battle, you'll want to keep your HP high, but once you've got them down to three or four, they're really trivial. And these guys give a lot of experience for how tough they are. Which isn't very. Yay! We win! And again, that's... Oh, cool! Not only gold, but a level up. Excellent! If you uh, level up to level 4 before fighting these guys, they're just a complete joke. At level 3, they can be threatening if you get unlucky. That's it. And the pirate decides to hang up shop and give us a ship. But now that we've defeated the pirates, all the, pe all the townspeople have come out of their homes and are roaming town again. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, so Matoya has an herb. Remember that, too. This That piece of information will come in handy during the next chapter. Even at sea, there are monsters. I believe the encounter rate at sea is a bit lower than uh, the land raid encounter. And yes, there are no ports in the north, so uh, you, so you can't go anywhere uh, outside the southern half of the world. Remember Melmond for later as well. That's more of a chapter 3 thing. Okay, I think that's everything we can do here. So we have... So we have two new towns uh, to, to keep in mind. We have Elfland, who's having a problem with their prince, and Melmond, which we don't know a whole lot about. So let's go to Elfland in our new uh, sailing ship next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy.